everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna give you a really easy scheme of how to remember screening recommendations so let's get started uh, so here is a typical question i got from lectorio uh, so let's read the last two lines first her bmi today is 31 which is considered obese and blood pressure is normal which of the following health screenings is recommended for this patient the first thing i want you to think about guys when answering screening questions is the patient's demographic age and sex here we have a 43 year old woman right so she's over 40 there are specific screening recommendations for women over 40 or men and women over 40. Let's see, a pap smear performed at her previous exam last year was, was within normal limits. Now, since she's done a pap smear last year and we know that pap smears are repeated every three years and she also did co-testing, so we don't need to do this now. Therefore, I'm gonna exclude this answer choice. Now, she does not smoke or have high cholesterol, has no chronic medical problems, which means that I don't need to do lipid profile for this woman. Her BMI today is 31, so her only problem here, guys, is obesity. What do you think? Should I do bone mineral density scan, which is usually done for women 65 and up, right? She's not menopausal yet so this is out colonoscopy is done for those 45 and up so this is not yet repeating blood pressure is not necessary right now since her blood pressure was normal we would repeat it if it were abnormal so the only correct answer choice here guys is fasting blood glucose or hba1c normally we screen for type 2 diabetes for patients 45 and up but because she has obesity we're gonna screen her earlier so those under 45 are screened if they're overweight or obese now before moving on guys to the scheme i made i want to give you a huge surprise you're gonna get 20 percent off if you use my discount code for lecturio q bank check the link in the description all right so let's move on so i want you guys to remember that we do screening for silent or chronic diseases and so most screening recommendations you'll find will be related to cardiovascular diseases and cancer right because this doesn't always express itself early now i want you to remember this mnemonic for cardiovascular diseases we screen for it's hdl as if it's hdl the lipids so that's hypertension diabetes and hyperlipidemia all right in this order for both men and women now there are certain screenings are for women only and men only but anything cardiovascular is for men and women all right so let's go in order of age men and women 18 plus are have to be screened for hypertension at any clinic visit all right now we go up men and women 35 plus not just that those who are overweight or obese have to be screened for diabetes with hba1c or fasting blood sugar now this is obviously younger than the screening recommendation which is 45 plus but because they're overweight or obese we're going to screen them under 45 like the patient we saw now let's move on a higher up men and women 40 plus are screened for hyperlipidemia and that's every five years the woman we had in the question already screened for this because she was over 40 and it turned out normal now the final screening for both men and women is both for those 45 plus would be colon cancer the gold standard guys is to screen with colonoscopy every 10 years however if the patient considers this invasive which it is we can replace this with an annual fecal occult blood testing now 
usually for cancer screening guides we take into account family history so if the patient had family history in a first degree relative of colon cancer they have to be screened 10 years earlier than the age at which their first degree relative got the disease so if their dad got it at age 40 for example the person has to screen 10 years earlier so be at age 30. so this is the exception here with colon cancer i'm going to apply this as well for breast cancer now let's talk about screening recommendations for women only these guys have to do with anything extra in the woman her reproductive system for example cervical cancer breast cancer or anything related to estrogen for example osteoporosis so women 21 and up have to be screened for cervical cancer with a pap smear every three years and it stops at 65. now if she does the co-testing pap smear and hpv she only needs to screen every five years now women under 24 24 and under who are sexually active have to be screened for stds like gonorrhea we take a vaginal swab and do pcr or not now this has to be annual if she's over 24 we don't need to screen her for stds anymore however if she has risk factors like multiple partners or a new partner then she also needs to undergo screening just like her younger counterparts now women 50 plus have to be screened for breast cancer not any screen but with mammography every two years now just like with colon cancer if she has a first degree relative with family history of breast cancer she has to screen 10 years earlier now this is different guys from those who have brca mutations because those are high risk they start screening at age 40. now finally for women guys 65 and up they have to be screened for osteoporosis with dexa scan once only and then we decide her risk now there are screening guidelines that are only for men and these always have to do with smoking guys so men who are 50 plus who smoke around 20 pack years or more have to be screened for lung cancer so if they take one pack a day for 20 years that's 20 pack years or ha or two packs a day for 10 years that's also 20 pack years anyone with a man over 50 with 20 pack years of smoking who has quit within the last 15 years or is still smoking has to be screened for lung cancer with low dose CT scan. You have to take care guys of this number because if it's less than that there is no need to screen. Finally guys men 65 and up who have ever smoked regardless of pack years have to be screened for abdominal aortic aneurysm with an ultrasound once and then we can decide further based on the results. Alright guys, I hope this helped. Let me know what you think.